Hi, I'm Bill Garvey. Thanks for joining me for another Durkee instructional video. The Durkee Hooping Pro full station and project station were designed with three key elements in mind. First, to create an extremely durable, long-lasting, hassle-free system for you to use for years to come. Second, to create a hooping system that will allow the embroiderer to use a diverse range of hoops in the industry from single needle, magnetic hoops, wooden hoops to adjust to any size that you may need. Third, to do all these things at an affordable price to the user. For your comfort and convenience, when you receive your brand new Durkee Hooping Pro Station, it will be flat out of the box. It does have three locations. It is easier to turn the device on its side and pull the pull pins to change each position. Once again, out of the box it's flat. Most people are going to find the first position moving up at approximately 12 degrees to probably be a more ideal comfortable position. However, there is a third position available which is approximately 30 degrees. Once again, turning it on its side, using the pull pins, adjusting it to the higher elevation. Once again, this is for your comfort and convenience depending on your working station, the height of your table, and things of that nature. Once you remove your new hooping station from the box, what you're going to find underneath is your new laser light. The laser light is designed to help you find the center location that you've marked on your shirt for embroidery. It does come with two options for mounting. The first option is a table mount. Okay, This is for stability and usually recommended by Durkee. However, if this is not an option for you, it does come with an adjustable bracket that mounts to the side of your hooping station so you can easily mount your light, adjust, and slide forwards and backwards. Again, it's just an accessory to help you find that center mark that you use to mark your material to start your embroidery hooping process. Most hooping stations in the industry use a pegboard type system. The new Hooping Pro from Durkee is utilizing a slot system. What this does is gives you infinite adjustability for any size hoop and location that you choose to use. Your Hooping Pro station comes with eight solid brass bumper stops. To remove, you simply turn slightly to the left like you're loosening a screw and you would slide off and be able to move into any position on the slot. The components are what you're seeing on the bumper stops themselves. The bottom you have the elevated platform. This is designed that when you're putting the outer ring on, it is allowing it to be lifted off of the base of the hooping station itself. So when you hoop together with your material and your stabilizer, it creates that offset point and even tensioning all the way around the item. You'll also notice that it has a black O-ring. This is to create friction no matter what style of hoop that you are using, whether it be a single needle machine hoop, a multi-needle machine hoop that can be plastic or wood, or your magnetic hoops that are used in the industry. Your Hooping Pro also comes with two backing or stabilizer holders. What these are designed to do is hold the backing in place over top of your outer ring during the hooping process. These are spring-loaded. To remove, what you want to do is push down on the brass insert piece, that allows you to slide it off, put it into the position that you need. Most of the time on your smaller hoops, you're going to simply use one device to hold the backing into place. However, in your larger hoops or different hooping techniques, what you can do is move those over and if necessary, use both pieces so you can hold the backing or stabilizer better. A few years ago, Durkee actually produced what's called a Freedom Ring. In a later video, we will be demonstrating how to hoop correctly using the Freedom Ring. Your Hooping Pro includes two devices that are designed for holding your Freedom Ring in place. Each one of your Hooping Pro full stations comes with three templates to help you easily mark your center position for hooping your garments. The first device is the embroiderer's helper. This one is designed for your small, medium, large, and extra large garments. Whether you're working on the left chest of your apparel or flipping it over and working on the right chest of your apparel. You're simply going to line it up, put it in position. On this one we have a placket shirt. Okay. We're going to find this is a large shirt. We're going to come down to our large area. I have a sticker here with a crosshair, but whatever means necessary that you use for marking your garments is fine. We're going to find that position, and now that shirt 
is ready to be hooped. The second template that is included with your Hooping Pro full station kit is called the Embroiderer's Big Helper. This is a larger version of the Embroiderer's Helper. This is designed specifically for your extra large 2X and 3X apparel. In this demonstration, you'll notice how I found my center line of my t-shirt that has no placket for me to go by for my straight edge is simply folding the shirt in half and putting it on the table. This t-shirt, for example, is a 2X. So now that I have my center line, I'm going to place my embroiderer's large helper in position. For this, I'm using stickers with crosshairs. You can use whatever method of marking your apparel that you choose. We're going to go to our 2X location, place our first sticker. Now, when working on t-shirts and apparel and your round hoops specifically, we're doing a second mark on there. That way when we're on our hooping station, we will have a vertical line to be able to line up our round hoops. Now from there to use this device on the right chest of the shirt, you simply flip the shirt over to the other side. The third template that's included with your Hooping Pro full station is called the Embroiderer's Little Helper. This is designed for doing embroidery above the pocket of your apparel, whether it's for the left chest or the right chest. It is measured from left to right to help find your center. Industry standard for most places is going to say your design should be located the bottom of the design one inch above the pocket. This is the reason this is cut out to this notch to one inch. 